Yes. <laughs> Actually, I had just turned 17 when I was cast on Dallas, and I read in a magazine called Dramalogue, which is now Backstage West, and it's a casting magazine, and um, they would put up casting notices, and I read that they were casting for this project called Dallas. I read the list of characters, and when I read the description of the character of Lucy Ewing, I just went, that's my part. Nobody is going to play that part except me. And I was serious. And um, I had my agent at the time call, and they wouldn't see me, refused to see me. Barbara Miller, the casting director, knew who I was. She'd cast me in a few things. She said, nope, she's not right, she's not right. So I snuck onto the studio lot every day for two and a half weeks and begged them to please read me, I'm perfect, you're wrong, you're wrong, I'm right. And um, finally, you can't do that now. I mean, with security, don't anybody please do not try to sneak in the studio now. <laughs> You'll be arrested for sure. <laughs> but um, then um, they said, come back tomorrow. And my appointment was at five. So I got there at lunchtime when I knew they'd be out of the office so I could steal a copy of the script and um, so I went through Barbara Miller's assistant. Um, I went through her desk, found a script, <laughs> and then went to my acting coach and worked with my acting coach and went in and auditioned. Wow. And Leonard Katzman said afterwards, after he had cast me and I was on the show, one day on the set, um, I said, how did I end up getting picked for this? He said, the minute you walked in the office, he said, I just knew if you could walk and talk at the same time, you were it. He goes, you were a vision. He goes, I just never saw anything like it. I went, wow, cool. <laughs> and he said, and then I found out you could really act. He goes, what, weren't we lucky? <laughs> <laughs>